There he is. We shall, where's Joseph? We're waiting for, well, well, we'll wait for Joseph later. We can, we can go on. We're at 737, so we should start, right? Okay, so we're talking about, I'm going to review real quick. We got this whiteboard, my favorite little 17-inch whiteboard. I don't have a big one that goes behind me. I just have this little 17-incher, which is great for online stuff. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So we're going to talk about intervals. And the way we look at intervals on the staff is we count the lines and spaces. So we go line, space, line, space, line, space, line, space, line, space. So here's what we got here. So Kelsey, copy that down onto a piece of music paper. Or just take a screenshot here. Can you guys do a screen capture? Oops. Can you guys do a screen capture? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Everybody got it? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So what we got here is uh this is the staff. Doesn't matter what clef it is, treble or bass. It's the same exact thing. The distance from a line to a space, one to two there, that's called a second. So let me write that on there. And this is from a one from a line to a line. Let me outline this better. So here's what we got. The distance from one line to one space is called a second, right? Mm -hmm. And two lines is called a third. One to three, one to three is a third. So when you look at music, if you got, if you got this and this, You got a line in a space, right? Mm -hmm. That's a second. And the next one's a third. Oh, okay. Can you put it back up, but closer this way? Because it was I wanted to take a picture. <laughs> Thank you again. Thanks. You have screen capture software? I'm t uh, taking it on my phone. I don't know how to do that on the laptop. <laughs> Thank you. I got it. Thank you. Okay, so this is the chart. This is the chart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to hand it to you guys, and you guys pass it around, okay? So, so it's going to come through the screen right now. No, bad joke. Okay, so what do we got here? Where's our gallery view? Got everybody there? Okay. Okay, so now if I do this, what do we got here? 
What's the first third. one, Ryan? Yeah, the third. first one's a third. You got a third. Good. Okay, the second yeah. one, Kim? The fifth. Fifth. And the third one, Jared? There's a seven. Seven. Are you following this, Kelsey? Kelsey, are you following this? Yeah, I am. Okay. Can you hear me? All right, so now we're going to do it on the spaces too. So the spaces, okay, so what do we got here? What's that first one, Joseph? Um, a second. Why? Because it's right underneath it and there's no space between it. No. If you count up like this, one, two, three. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, one, Space, two. line, space. I thought because it was so close to it that we don't count. Oh, okay. Oh, count yeah, the yeah. line, space, space, line, oh. space. So one, two, three, right? Let me take a picture of that. Just write it down. What's the next one? Space, line, space, line, space. Next one's the fourth? Space, line, space, line, space. Fifth? A fifth. We all agree? Yes. Because we're going one, Two, three, four, five. Let me start on the right one. <laughs> okay, you see that? Yes. Well, one, two, three, four, five, right? Space, line, space, line, space, right? Yes. Okay. So if we do that, then this one here, how about Des? <clears throat> Space, seventh? line, space, line, space, line, space. A seventh or an octave? One. Des, I asked Des. <laughs> seventh. Yeah. Yeah. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got that? Yes. Space, line, space, line, space, line, space. She's counting your hands. Space, line, space, line, space, line, space. Seven. Seven, right? Unless you're from Mars, right? And you have three fingers <laughs> on each hand. Yeah. How many, how do Martians count? Kim? I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Maybe both hands, both feet. Good, quick, quick response there. Hey, <laughs> both hands and both feet. All right, so that's how we count intervals, lines and spaces. Okay, so now we printed this out last week. Did you get this in your email, Kelsey? Yeah, I did. Can everybody pull this one up? You want us to go to intervals too? Okay. Waiting for it to load. I was teaching some lessons today, and uh, my I'm in my office. My studio is in the back, and we're in an industrial park. This is not a residence. This is a actual industrial unit. And in this industrial park across the way, there's these guys building racing speedboats. 
And boy, they fired those things up today. <laughs> no way could I teach a lesson while those things were fired. Yeah. Did you have to teach a lesson today other than this? We had to stop because the guys, the racing speedboat guys were going ape shit. And then two doors up, we got this Harley Davidson shop. And those guys were starting to rev stuff up at the same time. You should file a city complaint. Against them. No, you can't I do it. It's in an industrial park. park. It's, it's an M1 zoned industrial park. Yeah. So you can't, you can't file a complaint. The residents can't even file a complaint because it's zoned M1. Oh. And once it's zoned M1, there's contracts with the builders and the developers who build residences. And they know that they're building it close to an M1 industrial park. So they have to, they have to sign a bunch of paperwork when they build the houses that they can't, they can't complain against the noise level because it's an M1 zone. Yeah. M1 is manufacturing one. So they have a certain decibel level that they're allowed to have up to a certain amount of, certain amount of feet away. And boy, whoo, really loud. Those racing really boats. Loud. Have you guys heard racing boats? They don't have any mufflers on them, ever. And then motorcycles, these Harley guys, and then it's really loud today. Okay, so we got intervals one. You want one or two? Which one do you want? Sorry, I two. pulled up two. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's do exercise one. Who wants to take the first one? I'll Everybody's take fighting. it. Every ducks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Third. Huh? Like when it starts um, underneath the first ledger line, like for the number one. Right here, this one. Yeah. What do we got there? A third. A third line space line, right? Okay. Why? Because we got a line, a ledger line, right? Mm -hmm. So the notes on the line, that's one. Okay. The next one would be a space, right? If there were a note there, would be there, so that'd be two, right? And right. then another line, that'd be three. So we got okay, here we go. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kim? Yes. Kelsey? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's do the next exercise on here. Let's do number two. What would that one be? Let's talk to... Kim, number two. Would that be a seven? Let's count up. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got there? Yes, six. Sorry. Can you guys count to six on there? What do we got there, Joseph? We got a G and a what? A G and... Yeah. So we count. But I thought, oh my God. We count like this: one, two, two, three, four, four five, five, six. Make sense now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Number three. Kelsey, you want to try number three? Is the, the, are we doing interval one? So what do we got there? This one here, third one. Four, two, three. Four, name the oh, that one, okay. What'd you say? Um, one, two, three. The third? 
third? A third would be line, space, line, right? Here we have line, space, line, space, line, space, line, space. How many do we count? I take it, Kim? Kim? I'm thinking, I'm thinking eighth, but eight. that might not be correct. Eight. Oh, okay. Can you count eight on there? Do you have the sheet, Kelsey? It's the intervals one, right? Intervals two. Intervals two. Number two, third measure. Intervals two. Okay. Roman numeral two. Yeah, no, I see it. Third measure. Yeah. No, one, no, two, no. three. This one here. Okay. Okay. Fourth Are measure. You? Cole. The third. What is that? Line space. What's line space? Line space. Oh, second. Line space. Right? Yeah. Line, space, line. Line, space, line, space, right? Mm -hmm. Line, space, line, space, line. Yeah. So you can, you, can use, you can use your hand if you want to just get your hand here. So Wait, you count which one is it? Intervals two. Yeah, which one? One, two, three, four. Fourth one. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So that's line a, space, right? Yeah, that's a second. Okay. Okay, number five, Jared. Uh, that'd be a fifth. Look at this guy. Number five, yeah. He's fast. You already play, don't you? You play an instrument? I took guitar lessons back in middle school. That was probably the last time I touched an actual middle music. school. Yeah, what are they? Just a bunch of songs and stuff. Well, I've been going crazy with guitar lessons, man. All these online guitar lessons. Do you teach guitar workshop at school or? Uh, I don't know. You have to ask Michael Ryan what he's doing. I don't know how he's doing it. He might oh, be doing okay. it like this. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to do uh, audio over the internet. The audio doesn't, especially the bass lessons, are, they cut out because the bass is too low of a frequency for the webcams. Mm -hmm. So it cuts off. It's terrible. So you got to have workarounds. Um, okay, number one, the very last one, right here, Kelsey. Oh, okay. Kelsey. Oh, wait. Yeah. Here's what we got. Yeah. So, fourth. Count them. One, two, three, four. Four? A fourth. Make sense now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's how we count the intervals. We go. Line space, line space, line space. It's a pretty simple concept. Okay, now let's do exercise two. Right here. Exercise two on intervals two. And now we're counting from the lowest note to the highest note, see? So what's that first one? So what do we got? Who wants to volunteer? Ryan. Fourth. C and F is the fourth, yeah. Everybody got the same thing? Mm -hmm. Can you write it on your paper? Or do you just have this thing on the screen? How many actually have a printout? Nobody has a printout? I've Call been it. writing it on the 
paper sheet. Taking a crayon and drawing on the computer yeah. screen. <laughs> get, get one of those uh, flat black highlighter pens. Those, those for, for studying, right? Okay, what's the next one? Joseph. Right next to it? Yeah. Seventh. Okay, so let's count it up. So we're talking about this one here. So that's let's the count. One, two, can we see? Space, line, starts on a space, right? This, the, low, the note below the staff is a space. So it goes space, line, space, line. Actually, it's space. a sixth, not a seventh. Sixth, good. Sixth. 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 They look so similar to me that I get confused between the sixth and the seventh. I have special pills that you can take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so now. Who is feeling lost? Third. Kelsey, you feeling lost? No, is the next one a third? What? Is the next one a third? So we're doing the third one on number two. Yeah, good. Let's do the fourth one, Kim. Oh, I was just getting a printout. Okay, Des. I think it's easier. The unison and oh, first. unison, good. The one, two, three, four, fifth one, Kim. Well, number two, fifth one. Yeah. So we count from the lower, the lowest one, the lowest note. Okay. Is that second? The fifth one, on number two. One, two. Seven. Very good. You see, guys, see it? May I do one more so I could get it? Yeah, the last one on number two. Okay. Starting from the lowest note, you said, right? Yeah, count up. Yeah. Okay, so that would be. How many do you count? It's an octave, eighth. Good, you're getting it, man. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's move on to the third one, the third exercise, bass clef. But we don't care what kind of clef it is, do we? Mm -hmm. It's the same rule for both of them, right? Both clefs? Yeah. We don't care what kind of clef it is because it's the same rule, exactly. You just count the lines and spaces, and that gives you your interval. Now, let me qualify this by saying that these are the basic number intervals. Okay. Now, after we do that, there are types of intervals. Like a third can be major third or minor third. A fifth can be a perfect fifth or a diminished fifth. The type of interval we'll cover later. But for now, we're just, just doing the basic just number intervals, whatever they are. Okay, so the third exercise, bass clef, three, four. Okay, the first one there, we're counting up. So let's talk about Jared. It'd be a third. Good. The second, second one on number, number three, second exercise would be, uh, let's do Cole. Is that a harmony? That's a harmony, exactly. But what kind of interval is that? Uh, one? Well, one would be same note, right? The third, right? Yeah, so, is, is so it's a space, line, space, right? Space, line, space, right? Space, line. Oh, third. I rest my case. All right, next one. <laughs> Exercise number three on number three. Kim, uh, Kelsey. Just space, line, right? 
space line. Second, your audio went kaput. Sorry. Okay, now, Joseph, you do the, do the last three. Uh, number four? Yeah, all three of those. Four, five, and six. No, on number three. Number three, oh. the exercise three. Oh, yeah, okay. That's why I was like, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> okay. It's exercise like three, number four, five, and six. Okay, let me see. It's D, E, F, G, A, B. So we're doing this one here. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, line, uh, space, line, space, yeah. line, D, space, F, right? G, A, B, C, seventh, the first one. And then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Line, space, line, space, line, space. This one right here. Yeah, number three on the, okay. Okay. Count. D, E, F, G, A. Just use the numbers, don't just, you're doing it ass backwards, dude. You wanna do the numbers. Oh, okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Seven. How are you getting seven? I'm still getting a seven. Okay, wait, one more time. A sixth? A sixth. Good. Next one. Do it again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight octaves. Eight, right. And the last one? And the last one. Is it a third? Or because I'm I'm looking at the dots, I don't know if that's indicating to count it like that. Are We're just counting, counting lines and spaces. Or counting down? We're just counting the lines and spaces. From the top down or from the bottom up? Always from the bottom up. Okay, but on the last one, there isn't a note on the uh, below it. There, it's the same. It's the same with it connected. Same note, structure. right? Yeah. So it's a first then, right? Or a one, right? Or a one, yeah. You write that on there? Yeah, I was thinking a third because of the dots. I, <laughs> I was like, I don't know if they're doing that just to indicate. Those dots indicate the timing on how oh, long should, okay. Okay. How long you should play the note. The timing. Oh, okay. Okay, so now number four. I want everybody to fill that out right now, okay? Just exercise four, one, two, three, four, five, six exercises on there. Everybody fill it out with your pen. Or do you, you have a use who has it only on the screen? You only have it on the screen to see. So you fill it out in your mind, man. Oh, you don't want us to take out a paper? I was going to take out a paper and do you it. Don't, if, you don't have, if you don't have a... Oh, number four on my mind? Okay. Uh, right do, you have the, do you have this sheet? Do you have the printout? If you don't have the printout and it's on the screen, you do it It's on my mind, phone. man. You do yeah, it I'm visualizing it from the email. What? I'm visualizing it from the email. Okay. Visualize it, man. Visualize it, man. Write the indicated harmonic interval above the given notes. So the first one's what note? The first one is an E. No, uh, on minute. the bass clef, that's a C. Yeah, that's a C. I was reading. And one. they want a unison. So what's a unison? A one, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna write two C's. Everybody got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, you got that in your mind, man. <laughs> If you don't, I got these pills here, man. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Now, when you when you say write two C's, do you mind it in like unison, or do you mean write another note that's a C with it to, Joseph. It to indicate Joseph. 
<laughs> what does it say? Harmonic interval. Uh, what does it say? Above. Unison. Oh, yeah, yeah, unison. <laughs> you got to focus your mind, man. Let me get these pills. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's unison. I was just asking if you want. Well, I ran out of pills. I got to go to the store real quick. <laughs> <laughs> we, we thought about making a skit where somebody calls somebody on the phone and his roommate answers the phone. He goes, hello? He goes, Is Dave there? No, he's not here. Can you take a message? Oh, yeah. He goes, do you have a pen? Oh, pen. Hang on. He puts the phone down, starts looking for the pen. Goes out to the driveway, gets in the car, drives down to Staples, buys a pen, comes all the way back, takes the phone message. <laughs> would be a, just a comedy thing. <laughs> okay, so four four A is a unison. Now, what's the next one? Four B. We want a second. So second is space line, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna write that above there, right? 4C, we got a line, and we want a third. So we want line, space, line, right? Then after that, we want a sixth. So that's line, space, line, space, line space right mm -hmm. starting on a line we don't care about the names of the notes right this moment we just want line space one two three four five six all right and the next one octave next one third okay anybody got the printout that they can hold up or do you guys all have it on your screen the printout but it's not pretty but you are uh -huh. Okay. Here we go. Can you hold up the screen? Can I hold it up? Yeah, like I do, like this. I can. Ah, see. Can you see it? That's cool. You got some weird, weird effect going on there. I like that. I, well, I probably should move that background. Oh, that's the background. <laughs> yeah. Can you hold it up so we can see it? Can you see it? No. All right, hold on. So when you turn the background off, are there a bunch of people passed out on the couch behind you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see it now? Yeah. It's scribble. Probably not Okay, right. so we're doing number four. We got unison. We got okay. second. Third, sixth. Okay. So here's what we should have. Let me write it for you guys. Okay, thanks, man. Ma'am, not man. Yeah. Ma'am. <laughs> I don't take it personal. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I, I, I know this one. I know this one preacher. He's a cool dude. After his sermons, he wants instead of people going "Amen," he wants people to go "Amen," <laughs> and they do. They all go "Amen." That's funny. Can I get an amen? Hey, man. We love that guy. All right, so I'm at the beach. There you go. That's so cool. <laughs> I should have I should have one like where I'm in jail or something, huh? <laughs> you can just download a, a picture. <laughs> or I'm in like at a bullfight. <laughs> okay, so we wanted unison, second, third, sixth, octave, and third. So unison would be two of those, a second would be there, a third would be there, a sixth would be there, octave would be there. And a third would be there. All right. So now I'm going to hold that up. 
on me. There we go. Oh. You should copy those onto your paper. Just a sec, just a sec. Thank you. Uh, isn't the last one wrong? What do we got here? <laughs> there it is. It is wrong. <laughs> Only been doing this for 40 years. Thank you. <laughs> We're not laughing with you. Is the second from the beginning? Or, I don't know. That's a, uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Are libraries even open? Well, I think Laverne's is closed, and then uh, Claremont uh, Graduate School is closed completely. So then I'm assuming other libraries are closed too. Yeah, everything's closed, man. I mean, it's just, I was. So how are we going to gas station this today, <laughs> and they they don't give any cash back on debit cards anymore. Oh, uh, really? No? no, and I went to the ATM. The ATMs are all shut down. I went to three different banks. The ATMs were closed today. You have to go in the branch and present your ID and shit. It's maybe it was just their software glitch, but it was weird. It was really weird. You know, I went into an Arco. I tried to get. I want to get a, some gas, and I want a little cash back. And they, no, no cash back. Sorry, we don't give cash back any anymore. It's weird. What I bank heard is that. that? What bank is that? Tank of gas and and Chase. cash for your wallet, but I didn't think they were really going to enforce that. Oh, thank God, I'm not with Chase. I've been getting cash back. Well, I think it's just a software glitch for today in that particular company. Because, I mean, it's just, just with everything going on, it's just another weird thing to add to it, you know, where the ATMs don't work and you can't get cash back at the gas station. And I thought, well, this doesn't make sense. If they're trying to not spread the virus, you don't want to go into the branch, right? Right. And I was real careful. I mean, I pumped the gas and I, I, I uh, went to the ATM and I punched the numbers and then I didn't touch anything after that. I handed in my card and everything. And then I, when I got back to my office, I walked in the door and washed my hands for 20 seconds with soap. And I was like, didn't touch anything after that. You know, I was real careful. It's hard to memorize all that stuff. You know, you got to wash your hands and wash your hands and wash your hands. And uh, you can't, you can't, you know, rub your eye. You can't, you know, all the stuff I'm used to doing, you know, it's just, a different world these days. Wow. You know, no traffic on the roads, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, school's like a total ghost town. Have you ever been to Laverne's campus? It's flatlined. There's nobody there at all. Nobody even walking by or nothing. Even there's, there's no, not even any of those squirrels. <laughs> you know, those got scared of the virus. squirrels they got out there that give you the dirty looks. <laughs> Like those squirrels, they look at you and they think you're up to something. <laughs> those are fearless squirrels. They just want food. They'll sit there and beg for food. What's that? <laughs> okay, now let's go to our packet that we got from last time. The one that's supposed to be printed out of 11 pages here. Okay. Which packet is this? I uploaded it to you last time. Oh, with the large one, the last email? Yeah. Oh, okay. Page six through 11. This thing's loading again. <laughs> so the question is, how are we going to do the midterm for the online thing? 
we're all going to go and get a rowboat and <laughs> row out five miles out past Catalina. And they'll have seven individual boats. And we could take the test on the boat. <laughs> yeah, but then we touch the paper and then the paper is dirty now. I guess we do it on computer. Uh, I'm also in a different state. It's not in the last email, so I'm going to have to check the other one. That's probably the second email you sent. Let me check. Okay. What page number is it? Six. Oh, okay. I'm there. Okay. Okay. Can you guys One hear this? Step above A flat, right? Can you guys hear this? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. For a scale, remember the root word was La Scala, which is a staircase, right? Mm -hmm. a, a scale goes up the steps, right? Yes. Step is part of a staircase. Yes. Latin word La Scala. So scale goes up by step. If you if it's not by step, if it goes like this, that's not really a scale. That's a melody, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then this, those are the notes in a scale, but we're making a chord out of it. Three three notes at the same time is a chord, right? Two notes. Cole, what's two notes? Two Called notes. uh two uh, names for it. I don't know. Harmony, right? Mm -hmm. Harmony, yeah. And the harmony, we measure how far the notes up notes are from each other by calling it the interval. In this case it's a third, right? That harmony is a third, right? Mm -hmm. So the interval is a third of this harmony. So Professor Brown, this is still harmony, but a third? Yeah. Oh, okay. I know it's a third, but I didn't know it was still harmony. Oh, okay. Harmony, is a, this interval is called a harmonic interval at the same time. Harmonic means it's at the same time. Oh, okay, harmonic. Okay. A melodic interval is like a melody, one note after the other. Mm -hmm. That's a melodic interval. Okay. That's a melodic third. Here's a harmonic third. Here's here's a, another third. A melodic third. Harmonic third. Here's two intervals in a chord. But we don't call those melodic intervals in a chord. We call this a new word. We call that an arpeggio. I'll write it down for you. An arpeggio, that's a broken chord? Exactly. So we've got a heart, we've got a note, a harmony, and a chord, right? Like that. Note, harmony, and chord, right? Mm -hmm. Are they always on top? They're not always on top of each other, right? Can you hold it one more time? Because when I try to take a picture, you took it away. So a note is Thank one, you, a harmony is two, a chord is three. Right. Now, a chord can be three 
or more. We can have a chord. That's a chord. That's a five note chord. And because they're all on top of each other, you have to, you played them at the same time, right? The chord we play them at the same time. So uh, if I play this chord, there's a four note chord here. Here's a four note chord. Played like this. Here's a five note chord. So that's a four chord. But if you play them like this, that's an arpeggio. Here's a chord. Here's an arpeggio. Here's a chord. An arpeggio. Arpeggio is harmonic, or I mean, melodic. Arpeggio is a melodic version of a chord. Okay. Here's a chord. But in arpeggio, we take the notes playing one at a time. Okay, so now. We got a note here. We got a note, then we got that interval, E and G. That's a third, right? Mm -hmm. There's two ways to play it. You can play E first and then G right after it. That would be a melodic interval. Or you could play it at the same time, E and G together. That's a harmonic interval. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now a chord, if we got a chord, we want to go E, G, B. That's a chord. And an arpeggio. There's a chord. And then an arpeggio. This is like me take a picture. So it's E, G, B is a chord played at the same time. And if you play them separate, it's called an arpeggio. Arpeggio, okay. Okay, so those are some basic definitions there. Okay, does anybody have any questions on anything? Kelsey? Joseph? No. No questions? Anybody? No. Okay, I have a question for you guys. If a plane crashes on the U.S.-Canadian border, right on the border, which side of the border do you bury the survivors? You don't bury survivors. See, so uh, knows that joke I got him. He knows that joke already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So it's 826. So we will see you on Monday night, bright and early, 735. Thank you for coming tonight. Everybody's here. Yes. Anybody got any questions in the midweek? You know my email address, first name, last name, Pepper Brown at gmail.com. Or uh, which one do you use more, Gmail or Laverne? I use Gmail because Laverne doesn't let you do hardly anything with it. Oh, okay. Laverne is really hard to maneuver around in that outlook. I've always had difficulties with the Laverne huh. flexibility of their email. So, I mean, I get a lot of messages there. Don't get me wrong because I'm, I'm on the faculty, but uh, I use the Gmail 24 seven all the time, you know. And can you also check your settings in your Zoom so we can allow the 
call in by phone instead of the computer? Yes, I'm going to do that right now, so don't forget. Okay. And that's it. Sayonara. Have a great weekend, all. What do they used to yeah. say in the 70s? Yeah. Hasta mañana, aloha, marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> in Arabic, masalama. Masalama. In French, in French, au revoir, mes amis. Means goodbye, my friends. <laughs> How about we just tell us, start off a goodbye? I know, right? <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good one. What about in pirate? How how would he say? I I may yeah. farewell. <laughs> See you guys on Monday.